the investors spoke, what ails them? From corruption and fraud, masterminded by middlemen, to delays choreographed by some government agencies. When we go to URA to get our, our VAT deferment, they say, well, Ugandans, you need, a, there's a threshold of $150,000? That's ridiculous. We are soon opening up. I'm in food industry. But uh, we are going to lose our very expensive investment because of dust. We request Lagando to speed up their work. Government was already aware of some of these challenges. State Minister for Investment and Privatization, Evelyn Anite, affirmed this. I am told that the unscrupulous people here in my, the management of Uganda Investment Authority, that they are very unscrupulous when they see you just finish back feeling like this, they go and report and your land is withdrawn from you before your lease expires. This also explains the reasons behind the establishment of the State House Anti-Corruption Unit and the State House Investors Protection Unit. Both Brigadier Henry Isoke and Colonel Edith Nakalema were present. Many times people have been frustrated, especially the investors. They've gone to some of these offices and they've not got help. We are there and we have handled many cases. General Kagutam 7 instructs us on a daily to ensure that every investor, every warrior's creator, both foreign and domestic, are well protected, well supported, and effectively coordinated. And so we are here to show ourselves to you. This assurance is complementary to the fact that government is in the process of amending the Investment Code Act. It is meant to eliminate middlemen and corruption. And this has been directed by the president and uh, to make it very criminal for middlemen, uh, asking for contingency, asking for money for facilitation, for services which are being provided by government which are for free. Our work is to ensure that we directly deal with investors in the government uh, or the investors are supposed to reach to reach us or us reaching out to investors to ensure that we eliminate the fraudsters who pretend to be the, the coordinators in between the so-called middlemen or middle women. However, investors also have to prove their worth to avoid losing land allocated to them. Now those of you who know that you have fenced the fence, uh, your land and it is in the fence that has stayed for five years, and you're still in the fence, we're going to withdraw it. Why? Because we cannot wait for you. You've told us you have the money to develop the land. So you cannot wait for five years and you're not developing the land. And yet, we have a very good guidance for you. The Friday Baraza at Namambe Industrial Park saw both local and foreign investors air out their concerns. Henry Okrut, UBC. Yeah.